is there any credible organization or scientist anywhere at this point that are not acknowledging that we are having dealing with climate change and the effects of it? Is there any credible scientist anywhere that are making a logical case that this is not happening? Is this a we? I'd like to comment on that. So I'm outside the field, however, a lot of scientists come to me because they know of our interest in water. And I must admit, I've heard cogent arguments um, on both sides as to how much we are actually contributing to the issue of climate change. And I kind of sit as, a, as an outsider, and it, this is so tinged with political um, uh, influence that it's really hard to pick out what's true and what's not true. This is the voice from the outside. And I, I don't necessarily n name names, but I, I, I've heard cogent arguments on, on both sides, and I, I think there's some legitimacy to the propositions, at least, that I've heard from both sides. I, I have to say I find that quite a strange point of view to have as a scientist. Um, as a scientist, I understand the scientific method, I understand how weight of evidence is actually produced, I understand how you've gone through your experiments to actually show. So what I find quite odd is then you are quite happy to not believe other scientists who have spent 35 years studying climate change, doing it in the labs, studying how clouds work, how they actually do a warm and cool the planet, how we actually um, have experiments to show that greenhouse gases absorb heat when they're actually in the atmosphere. So I find it quite odd, and actually, usually it's not people such as yourself, chemists, and people looking at the physical world, but it's usually engineers I find are the most skeptical, going, no, 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 I don't believe this science. Because science is a rational methodology. And so when you have methodologies that actually clearly state and show you evidence and a weight of evidence that things are actually happening and that the greenhouse gases are warming the atmosphere, I find it then difficult to see why any of the skeptical views can actually be accepted. And if you think about it, this is not just one or two scientists saying, you must look at my research. This is the whole world. This is research scientists in every country who are actually working on this subject. They are putting it together in the intergovernmental climate change uh, reports, which occur every five years. Now, I don't get paid by anybody else apart from the university. And trust me, if I could prove that climate change, with evidence, was not true, I would be a Nobel Prize winner. I will have my face on Time magazine, and the Republican Party would pay me for the next 100 years, OK? So before you say, are oh, you all motivated to show the same thing, you know, you're in the pockets, etc., no. I am a deeply competitive person. All my friends and colleagues are, we're scientists. We're competing with each other for the best ideas. And over 35 years, we still come out with the same result, which is greenhouse gases that we are emitting are causing warming in the atmosphere, which are causing climate change. And in the future, we know from the politics that the amount of greenhouse gases going into the atmosphere are going to increase. And we can calculate from simple physics what that's going to do to the atmosphere, and then we can make predictions about what it's going to do to the hydrosphere, which uh, uh, Brian's looking at. We can look at the oceans and how they're warming up, and then we can look at things like sea level and that's how that's going to change. So I think it's worrying that we have very smart, very clearly dedicated scientists who don't actually think that climate change may be happening. Oh, let, me, let me just clarify. It, it wasn't the issue wasn't whether climate change is happening. The issue is to what extent we contribute to the change. And obviously, you know, climate change has happened again and again and again over, over the eons, and there seems to be evidence it's happening more rapidly now than, than it's happened. But, uh, but I just want to say that for me, I myself don't have the time to look deeply. There's so much evidence out there, and evidence from both sides, uh, that, and, and from serious people, someone from Harvard University, for example, who spent many, many years working on this and, and has a, an opposite point of view. I've been involved in science in, in many fields, and I've come to appreciate that 
the majority view is not always the correct view. Uh, the majority view on, on, uh, in, in many areas is challenged and uh, a very organization that, that we run called the Institute for Venture Science is in business to provide funding for those people who have reason to challenge the prevailing point of view. So the fact that, that the authority of many scientists uh, uh, suggests one point of view and a, majority of a minority of scientists point to another it doesn't necessarily mean that the majority is correct. Uh, I remember it was um, uh, Lord Kelvin who said, nothing can fly, nothing heavier than air could fly. Now Lord Kelvin was a famous scientist and I think he was wrong on that and almost everybody thought he was right about it but, but you know, I flew here from Seattle so uh, and, and so th that's my only point, not, not, not that that I myself, who have no experience, no authority, no reason to say anything about climate change, it's just that I want to point out that there are serious scientists who believe that the evidence suggests otherwise, that it's not necessarily us um, and the carbon emissions that are the principal cause, that's all. And I'm not prepared to argue for or against, only that it's a very complicated story because you're presented with two sides and just because the majority believes one doesn't necessarily convince me that the majority is absolutely correct. That's all. Okay. I, outside. Well, so. I, I, I am now deeply worried because you kept using the word believe. Okay. The scientists that study climate change do not believe in climate change. Okay. It's not a belief system. You're a scientist. Okay. You should be there actually looking at the evidence. So do you believe the fourth phase of water? No, of course not. Okay, you're looking at the evidence. Same with climate change. It is about weight of evidence. It is about clear testing hypotheses again and again and again. And we've tested these hypotheses over the last 35 years. So I find it quite galling that you come in and say, well, it's a balanced view. Actually, there's arguments on both sides. That's a climate skeptic's argument. Okay? This means that we should have a false balance in the press. We should always have a climate skeptic paid by the fossil fuel industry versus a climate scientist who spent the whole life dedicated to studying climate change. No. Is that what you want? I am sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm shocked. I thought I was here with a bunch of clear, rational scientists, and you've now decided that actually, no, um, there's, we, we can take alternative views, and that's fine if, uh, if a, a random scientist suddenly believes, which you use that word, believes that climate change is not happening, we should accept them. No. Please, be clear. Um, it's not that, I'm sorry if I use the word believe, but obviously, um, I'm talking about people who claim they have evidence on the, in the other direction. And I'm not prepared as an outsider, I'm not an insider, I don't know the experiments that you and other people have done. However, as an outsider, I'm not prepared to dismiss a dissenter's point of view based on evidence. I don't know, but I have no authority because this is not my field. I'm just expressing from the outside uh, an uh, appreciation that there is another point of view, that's all. I don't know which point of view is right because in order to decide which evidence is most convincing, one would have to spend a lifetime. I don't have a lifetime to spend. I'm doing other things. That, that's really all I meant to say. I, I hope you're correct. I, I don't know if you are. Yeah, Mark, let me, <laughs> let me just, <laughs> I just want to jump in, in here and say that um, I, I emphatically agree with Mark. Um, uh, I think that uh, the media has in part um, uh, misweighed, um, given the impression that this argument is, is actually still a debate because they'll, you know, for the, for the sake of news and sensationalism, they will always put somebody on the news channel that, you know, says no when the other one's saying yes. Um, and I don't discount, Jerry, you know, your point about um, the, the naysayers, the heretics, you know, sometimes have been right in history, and that's always a possibility. But I also think that as a society, and, and in terms of governing ourselves and deciding about the things that we should do or not do, the things that we should support or not support, um, I, you know, believe very strongly in the weight of evidence. The weight of evidence on this is overwhelming. Um, it's a thousand to one, maybe ten thousand to one. I mean, it's not even close. 
And so, you know, while, you know, we can always, you know, point to a number of cases where, you know, there was a, there was a preponderance of evidence and somebody, said, somebody who was saying no turned out to be right in the long run, I think that, um, I think the only sensible way for us to act and move forward is, is to take the weight of, as Mark said, scientists that have spent their careers and have accumulated um, a, a, a tremendous volume of evidence, and it's irrefutable evidence in my mind at this point. Yeah, I want to follow up. We often hear about the 97% of scientists who believe climate change is driven by humans. But what we almost never hear about is the actual publications, the refereed journal literature, which is incredibly conservative. And I'm going to have to try to come up with something from memory so the numbers won't be exactly correct. I don't remember if it was 2012 or 2013, the last time I saw information on this topic, indicating that there were 12,000 and some papers published in that year, that calendar year, 2012 or 2013. And of those 12,000 and some, there were two or three papers that concluded that there was no anthropogenic climate change. So that's way, way more than the 97% of the individuals. It's 99.9% .9 of the published science indicates that climate change is driven by humans. I think this is a, it's a done deal at this point. And I think people who claim otherwise are trying to make money or appear in the media or trying to make it, trying to sow the seeds of doubt as the film, The Merchants of Doubt, just indicated, it just came out within the last year or so.